New Year, new resolutions. January is a notoriously popular month for gyms as people double down on their fitness goals. And Planet Fitness is looking to capitalize by kicking off 2023 with a new offer. Dollar down, $10 a month through January 12th here. Here with us this morning, we've got Planet Fitness CEO Chris Rondeau joining us now. Chris, always a pleasure to see you. Of course, many people probably see the brand over the course of the New Year's Eve celebrations. And then things get real once people start to get back in the gym. So what type of uptick versus years past are you anticipating or are you forecasting for this year? Yeah, thanks for having me on, Brian. Brad, this is great. You know, this is a, uh, it's hard to believe this industry has, this would be the first uninterrupted first quarter in four years, believe it or not, knock on wood, right? Uh, you know, in January, you know, we're seeing a lot of momentum out of the Q3 into the new year here. And uh, we had the big new year celebration in Times Square. And you're right, the dollar down 10 a month promotion we're doing right now, which is our annual promotion we always do in January. But, you know, last year we had Omicron and that's not here today. So it's, it's really, really great news for the industry and great news for the planet. Hey, Chris, it's Julie here. So if we go back to pre-COVID times and look at usual patterns, what does the attrition rate tend to be? I always wonder about that in terms of January signups and then who sticks around? Yeah, it's a good question. So, you know, as you probably recall, Planet Fitness, we catered to casual first time gym goers and almost 40 percent of our joints have never belonged to a gym in their entire life. So really their first their first venture into fitness. And that's why we always offer no commitment, cancel any time membership. You know, we get them off the hook the first time. And naturally, not all everybody sticks with it. We try to get them to come in. The beauty of it is we get you off the couch the first time, Julie, you'll always come back your second time to plan it. So, you know, it's really, we don't really watch it that much the first year. We just want to put everybody into the gym. Hopefully they're comfortable. If they fall off the wagon, we hear when they're ready to come back. Chris, you've been in this industry since what? The mid to late 90s. And then you've seen probably every promotion and marketing gimmick known to, known to man. Well, what do you think about this Equinox promotion? I mean, they didn't, they didn't let people sign up on New Year's, New Year's Day or after New Year's saying, we don't, we don't want your business. Uh, if you're not working out all year round and paying us $20 a month, we don't want you. What do you think about this? And isn't this everything wrong with the high-end gym industry at this point? You know, honestly, Brian, that's a lot of reason why Planet Fitness got into this industry to begin with. It's a judgment-free zone is what we call ourselves, right? And, you know, regardless of what your why is and the reason you want to get off the couch, whether it's January 1st, July 1st, you know, you're doing it for your kids, you're doing it because you want to feel better, have more energy. You know, we don't judge. So, yeah, I, I saw that, but, you know, that's not us. Chris, a uh, question on the franchisee front. I, I mean, when you think about the business model, the structure that Planet Fitness has set up for so long and the strength of that on new locations being opened up, I mean, this mm -hmm. is going to be a kind of pre-recession environment that we continue to find ourselves in. And those franchisees, what has the environment for them and financing and being able to open up new locations been like? Have you seen any softness or weakness in that? Yeah, we're starting to get a lot of momentum now. You know, we did see some slowdown naturally during COVID. Um, but luckily, our franchisees are extremely strong. Most of them have been in our system since day one. And uh, we only have about 120 franchisees that make up the 2,000 plus stores. So they're all multi-store operators and very well capitalized and very sophisticated. So, you know, the financing side of things is not really that much of an issue for us. More of it's just supply chain. And believe it or not, out of all things that have slowed us down a little bit was air conditioning, <laughs> finding that for the units. Um, equipment's coming through fine. The flooring's coming through fine. We're finding locations okay. It's just really just air conditioning and, and heating, but but that that's only temporary naturally. So um, but they're all bullish. They've seen the memberships like we have corporately, and and they're excited to get building stores again and 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 get more people off the couch. Chris, have you changed any kind of expansion plans for this year, given the economic slowdown that is expected? No, we just continue to help our franchisees find locations. We did announce we're going to New Zealand this coming year. Uh, this year, naturally, uh, this year, actually, um, later this year, we'll open our first store in New Zealand. That'll make mark our sixth country that we're in today. Um, but no, just continue to open stores. Our U.S. potential is 4,000 just domestically. And, and honestly, since COVID, you've probably heard me talk about this, 25% of the gyms in the country of the U.S. have closed permanently because of COVID. So I think that 4,000 could really be the floor of our potential here, not our ceiling any longer. And uh, we're at, you know, over 2,300 stores now and just continue to build out our markets. The street is really banking on uh, Planet Fitness making a, a really big international push. You just mentioned New Zealand, Chris. What is the international potential and what other markets will you hit this year and next year? Yeah, we were always doing like a country a year, Brian. I think uh, going forward, future plans is probably we try to do two or three a year um, on top of what we have open today. Um, we've looked at Asia and we've also looked overseas here in Europe. So so uh, we'll very, get very careful and methodical about where we go next. We don't want to do just 10 countries out of the blue and open one store each. We really want to find the right partner in each place and have a right plan and just start building these things out. 
We'll leave it there. Planet Fitness CEO Chris Rondo, always good to see you. And I should note it's back day for me uh, as well later on. Chris, good to see you. Happy New Year. <laughs>